143, and I'll tell you what, this weekend we're doing it. You guys got to come out, and I'm going to give you two spots to go to. You can get to Stand Up Live tonight, or you get to the Tempe Improv this weekend. The reason being, my man Tommy Davidson is in the house today. Good to have you, bro. Nice to be here, man. What's the fountain of youth? You found it. Whatever it is, you found it. I want to drink it. Man, man, come man, on, man. man. Your coffee, I haven't found it yet. I need it this morning, though. <laughs> you don't age, man. Your characters may be aging, but right, you're not my, char- my character's age. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. I'm, oh, yeah. happy to, I'm always happy to be here. In We're Phoenix, excited man. to have you, man. Always happy to be here in Phoenix. This has been a place that I've come to for years. What's happening, everybody? Uh, Univision Tele, Telemundo, to, to my Univision Telemundo a, a crew. I know you're out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, where did you learn the Spanish? How'd that all come out, man? Because I've heard you, and you speak it well, man. You got the whole well, I can't everything down, it. dude. I understand it better than I speak uh-huh. it. I just got a great accent. Uh huh. Um, it, it all started in Colorado. Mexicans in Colorado? No. Mexicans in Colorado. <laughs> Swear to God, Fort Collins, Colorado, my mom at the time, my mom taught at like a, a, a boy's home. Uh-huh. You know, Chicano. Sure, sure. And four years old, uh-huh. you know, they, taught, they called me Tomasito Negrito. And I, was, <laughs> I, was like, I was like the hero of the whole like little place. You was it. I was it, man. Wow. And then we moved from there and... Washington D.C. My mother was bilingual. She she grew up in um, Bolivia. Uh huh. Wow. So she grew up in Bolivia, and then you know we moved to Washington D.C. So all yeah. the Spanish people there know her. Sure. From Puerto Rico and from Guatemala. Yeah. You know. So because yeah. you got a little Puerto Rican thing going on too when you yeah, talk. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got a little Puerto Rico got a little Central American, got a little Mexican. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Got a little Mexican and Chicano. There you go. You know, it's a whole different thing. That's it. Colorado Mexican is not like 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 a Texas. No, man, listen to the guy. See? Yeah, man. Teca, oh, te, man. Texas is nothing like Los Angeles <laughs> and Phoenix. You know what I mean? It's, that's yeah. a whole nother, the city. Yeah. That's a whole nother, nother that's thing. It. That's it. You fit in with the Mexicans, the blacks, the whites. You've been able to do yeah, that, man. Not yeah. everybody can do that. Not everybody can do that. I think it's because of the way I was raised and, and because of In Living Color. Yeah. Living color across the color line, man. Yeah, and I was going to ask you about that, man. If uh, if you could, and we all want to always move forward, but w- was there a period of your life that they said, "Hey, you can relive it, can't change it, but relive it just for like a year"? What when would that? What that would be? be the first year of in living color? It would. It would be the first year of in living color, uh-huh. and we all were like linked up. We yeah, were like we all knew that uh-huh. we had to stick together. Uh-huh. We go to lunch every single. And did you realize that this was just different? Yeah, because I mean, as as a viewer, you know, here and you know, I I was on the radio at the time, obviously, and I was doing all kind of stuff, and it would come out. I was like, man, this show is crossing boundaries, and this show is opening up a lot of things for people. I mean, we kind of need that now with where we're going now. We need a show like that again. Yeah, we need a show like that again. We didn't know. Uh huh. We didn't know it's going to be a mega hit, but we knew that it was going to be good. Yeah, yeah. That we knew. We spent every day together at lunch. Uh huh. You know, every and, day. And so now, all the people that came out of there, because Marlon was just here like last month or so. We just hung out a little Who's bit. Who's there? Marlon. Okay. Yeah, right, Marlon was in Marley. here. Marlon. Yeah. And uh, everybody comes through here, man. And everyone now that from that show, uh, is it still a good relationship? Like, can you still hang out? Yeah. Call up Jim. Call up J-Lo. Call up, hey, what's up? And when they see you, is it, you still got that bond? Oh, when, when they see us, we still got that bond. Not J-Lo. J-Lo's got a big head and a big ass. But, <laughs> but, but, but besides that, besides you know, we, that we, we all link up. Uh-huh. You know, when we see each other, we're all, we're all connected. But it's all was, cool still. But she was connected then, though. Yeah. When she was with us and she was yeah. on the show, it was, it was a, a, a whole love thing. Yeah. You know, so she kind of gone off into her own yeah you know doesn't really associate with with it uh-huh and that's okay too you know i'm over it i used yeah. to be mad about it yeah like, yeah you know i swear man i talked to everybody because everybody always says hey alex man you do radio man who's the funniest people you've seen how you i said listen you all don't understand i said you might not get this but if you close your eyes i swear to god tommy davidson is sylvester stallone it's ridiculous well, yeah. dude ridiculous well you know that's only because you said that right now you know what i mean <laughs> You know, I think that right now, you know, besides Rocky, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, besides Rambo, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, besides the two of those, you know, I, I, I think I'm trending again. Sure. You know what I mean? And trending is something that I think. I just heard that, that Sly, you were in a, uh, you had a, uh, somebody was accusing you of rape. Exactly. And, you know, that's that's the thing that I'm saying. Yeah. You no, know, it puts me right back in yeah. the public eye. Uh-huh. Again, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm right with everyone. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, I mean, if but I heard, but I heard it was false allegations, and now you're off on that charge. Well, I mean, so I'm so old, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I've already made my money, and and and, and that's I, it. I, you know, I'm not going to go to jail over it. No one, is, no one is. Not even Weinstein went to jail. No one's going to go to jail over it. <laughs> and I'm not worried about ruining my reputation because been around too long. You know what I mean? Hey, I, w- I wanted to ask you. I wanted to ask you uh, a sly. What do you think when you see Tommy Davidson doing you, man? Is he doing a good job? He does a great job. I mean, I I, I actually could have had him in the last Rocky movie. Really? Um, I could have. I mean, a lot of young black guys in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> he probably would have made a great, great, uh, great, great compliment. That would have been good. Me and you know, yeah, a compliment to me and and, and the whole thing. Uh huh. I think he's probably one of the comedians that realizes that there's never you, been a white champion. <laughs> but you know what I think? I think that <laughs> I think that Tommy Davidson is uh, a sly. I think Tommy Davidson is a reincarnation of Sammy Davis Jr. Well, that's if Sammy uh, had his say, yeah. <laughs> and. The scary thing is, is how I can go from slide to uh, I. I. Yeah, or, 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 you know, I'm Yiddish, so slide to hi. <laughs> there you go. Cameo. Oh. Cameo, right. straight up. Oh, yeah. See, I'm taking you back, man. Cameo, baby. Yeah. Wow. But I got some other stuff for you, go too. Ahead. All right? Because I know that, you know, once in a while you had to get kind of smooth with it. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. We get to be a part of the magic, a part of the happening on Mega. See, taking you back to your radio days, dude. I know you did a little stint. Come Don't on. Don't forget to be a part of the magic and a part of the happening. Tommy Davidson this weekend. Mega 103.3. Oh, you like, yeah, you like that, that, right? That was good, dude. Like that like, was good, like that, man. You know? That was good. See, you got it, man. You got it. You got it. And, of course, I mean, you know, we all we all, we all, all got to have some of this in our, in our life, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Relax your body, let your pick up be ease. <laughs> you gotta have some zap. That's it, dude. See, that's what I'm talking that's about. It, man. That's what I'm talking about, Mexican, right there. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what. That's where blacks yeah. and Mexicans come together. It's true that because there's a lot of black groups yeah. that Mexicans support. One hundred. Exactly. We come right on in the middle. Yeah. Right there. You know what I mean? That's it. I'm really glad to see you. Yeah. Very proud. Thank yeah. you, man. You know, there's not a lot of people in in, in 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 there's not a lot of people in this business that stay around as long as we do yeah. the radio. Yeah. You know, and it's not a it's not a people driven business anymore. Uh-huh. Well, I find, I kind of feel like uh like a, a male in uh officer and gentleman. I got nowhere else to go. <laughs> Before we get out of here, man, because it's Christmas, it's in a festive mood. Mm-hmm. You think that uh we could get a little Christmas carol from Sammy? That actually would be um would would be nothing yeah. to that. I mean. And we want to let everybody know uh that uh Sammy may be performing tonight also with uh, Tommy Davidson. So come on in and see the show. And uh, it'll be a great, great time to see these two get back together. They've been uh, performing together for quite some time. Stand Up Live tonight, Tempe Improv. Sammy, take us home, brother. I, I, I got you. I got you. I got you. na 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 Hang all the mistletoes. I am going to get to know you better. In Phoenix, and as we trim the tree, how much fun it's going to be together. In Phoenix... Because Mega 104.3 is getting down with Tommy D. I love it. Thank you so much. It's Tommy Davidson, brother. It's always a pleasure, man. And whatever you're taking, bottle up so the rest of us can drink it, bro. Thank you. I'm dizzy after that. (laughs) It's Mega 104.3, Tommy Davidson tonight. Stand up live and also Tempe Improv. Come on out and have yourself a great time.